Four years ago, Ollie Rofix, who lives in Suffolk, was diagnosed with a very rare form of leukaemia. Within a few months, he went from being fit and active to being unable to walk a few metres. It soon became clear a bone marrow transplant was the only option. Luckily for Ollie, who's 24, a bone marrow donor with the right match was found. The operation saved his life. The two of them have never met until this weekend when they came face to face for the first time. Ollie Rofix knows he's lucky to be alive and he's now keen to raise awareness of the need for more donors, which explains why we're heading inside this storage building at his home at Clopton. This is Jolly Ollie, the 18-foot boat which he's making ready for a fundraising trip around the country. I'm trying to inspire other people who have been ill or who are ill to go off and do great things because that is, is, is a big problem. Uh, in, in younger people. They lack confidence sometimes after being ill. So I'm hoping that this is going to give them a little, a little inspiration. But today the yacht isn't the main priority because Ollie is heading off to the Suffolk Yacht Harbour at Levington. He's about to come face to face with a man who donated stem cells to save him. They've emailed but Ollie has no idea what the donor looks like. Is that then? It must be. Yeah, let's go. Is it? I don't know. I've never seen it. Eventually, it becomes clear it is them. Donor Matt Hall, a 43-year-old carpenter from Wisbeach, with his wife and daughter. Hello, Oliver. <laughs> well done. Please, please to be of assistance. Oh, really am. Thank you so much. That's quite all right. Any time. Very strange feeling, and actually seeing him. Well, you know, years ago, I was laying there. Four years ago, wondering what he was actually looking like. You know. Who is this chap? Um, now seeing him, it's a very... I, I, don't, I don't see him anymore as a bag of blood, if you see what I mean. He's <laughs> a, a person now, he's a human. It's amazing. It's just so nice um, to see that he's well and healthy. I've seen some photographs of him when he was in hospital and he was looking really bad, really poorly. And I'm just glad I could help. It's wonderful to actually see the result of a successful transplant, um, but at the same time thinking, gosh, there are so many more people that we could help. Um, and that's why it's so important that we encourage so many more people to join the register so they can do something as wonderful as what Matthew's done. It means everything to me. Uh, it's going back to the whole, you know, thank you isn't, isn't, isn't enough, is it? But, but what else do you say? I mean, ultimately, without him, uh, I wouldn't be here. Uh, I'm, I'm sure of that. Next up, it's planning for the fundraising voyage. It's due to begin in May 2011. <laughs> Kevin Birch, BBC Look East. It's a very good story. Great. Yeah. Now,